Yo, yo, what's up? It's Chris Nunn with Seven Sounds Productions, uh, aka A Chris Ten. It's what I go by as my rap name for my for my uh, music. Um, typically record Christian hip hop. Um, so, anyways, um, today I will be doing a a demonstration and and kind of like a tutorial on how to use Antares Articulator, especially if your doll. Um, does not automatically activate a sidechain option once you insert that plugin in, into your uh, your channel on your DAW. Um, I did some research on it on YouTube and Google, and I found a few advertisement videos and stuff like that, but like no real videos um, showing you how to um, actually complete this task uh, if, it, if it doesn't work as a plug and play for you. Um, my DAW is, uh, that I use is a Cubase. Pro 9, um, if, if the plugin does not automatically activate a sidechain, you need to, you know, use a separate channel um, that you that can house the plugin as an insert and and then send, send signals, your, your, your signal that you want to affect and the trigger signal to Articulator. The basic thing, you know, the, the effect I was going for is, is, is like that Zap and Roger type of, type of vocal effect. And, um... The two basic things and the reason why you need that side chain to work is you need two signals going to the plugin, you know, so you have your your channel that you would slap a, a you know, a VST on or a plugin on and and then you have that other ch um, signal coming from another channel or some type of other source um, to kind of activate whatever type of effect you're trying to do. So because of that, uh, you know, there's a few workarounds uh, that was already um, kind of in the, in the manual uh, without further ado. So this is what I did. So as, as you look on the screen, um, I here's my AUX track. Was that? Oh, here it is. I had it I had it already ready. So here it is right here. Um, and here's Articulator. Bam. So kind of like what I was saying before, is you have your in, your 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 channel that you want to uh, be the voice, you know, your effect um, that you want to have, or 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 the you know, the quality or the tone that you want your, your voice to have. And then you have your vocal, the, the channel that you want to affect with that um, um, that voice or that channel. So here, my vocals will be coming through this channel right here. And then what I'll, I'll be using a keyboard and it'll be coming through this channel right here. And what happens is both of those channels come together and that keyboard sounds like me talking, kind of like a talk box, right? So initially when you do this, uh, the channel has... Uh, our, our uh, articulator has the automatic tone generator already inside the the plugin, and uh, so when you have your vocals going through there, it sounds pretty crazy. Um, now I'll demonstrate that what it sounds like. Uh, you may or may not want to try that out and use it. it. Could be useful for something, but it's not what I what I was going for. So I'll let you hear what that sounds like. Um, so in order to, to get rid of that you just need to bring that down and now you see that the signal is still going through there but now you it's that noise that's being generated is no longer is no longer there so you don't have to worry about that all right so the next uh so so let's, let's look at that channel now so I have that that vocal track and I have it panned hard right and panning it hard right sends it to that other to that um, to the noise or the signal right and it's left and right coming in into the noise and, and 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 it does that. So you have that and then um, pan pan hard right for that and then now let me stop this you have your keyboard sound. Hopefully you'll hear it. Um, let me see if you can hear it. Yeah, that's it. So you have that kind of being the, the thing that's gonna generate the sound for you. So with this one, you wanna pan this one hard left and also send that one to the talk box or the, that AUX channel. So both channels, instead of being sent to your stereo, stereo uh, out or main out, 
it's being sent to the auxiliary. I didn't. I forgot to mention that on that first track. So once that's done, uh, you need to you know know the key need, know the key to the song that you're playing in and and be able to play on the key because you still need to be able to. And in, in my case, at least, you still want it to you know match the music, and that's you know the whole point of it. So that's what that talk box, old Zap and R Roger sound is known for, right? And uh, so here it goes. I played uh, Ari Vardy, kind of already done all this already, and I just wanted to make a video for it, so that someone else in the in the, in the you know down the road won't have to go through the pain I went through to try to figure this out. It wasn't a whole lot of pain uh, if I would have just figured out the instructions first. So here's what it sounds like. So yeah, see, kind of. And then once that's going to this AUG channel, you just want to kind of tweak it a little bit. And that's basically it. And you just want to mix it in. And then, you know, I'll just mix it in from there. That's all you gotta do. Peace out.